Smoky Storm Chaser here. I apologize for not having my iPhone turned sideways. I've got it sitting in my cell booster and it doesn't hold a phone sideways. I'm driving home today from helping teach our mutual aid groups, our mags, uh, homeschool co-op or however you want to put it. You know, we're just getting together and making sure these kids are taught right without being under the purview of the state. And so I've been thinking a lot here about you know, the, the American Civil War and the events that led up to it and how I can kind of apply that to today just to try and see if there's any correlations there. And, you know, what happened with the Chop, Chaz, whatever, up there in the Pacific Northwest, you've got, that correlates in my mind to John Brown, and he's an abolitionist, and they did a military takeover of Harper's Ferry, which was a, at the time, a significant armory uh, for the military. And ultimately, it was fa it, the the raid failed, and you know most of those people were executed. But that kind of applies, you know. An opposition group had taken over a small portion of territory, and ultimately it failed. You know, nobody was executed or anything like that, but it's like that kind of works. So a couple other things that I'm kind of waiting to see happen. You know, there was a, a senator in leading up to the Civil War. There was a senator. Uh, he was a northern senator. He was uh, nearly beaten to death by a representative from one of the southern states. I can't remember the names, you know, who did it or whatever. And then there was a similar incident where uh, another one had attacked another southern representative attacked a northern representative and uh, tried to choke him out. So, we're getting pretty close, I think, with all the rhetoric and the hostilities that's been going on. I think we're getting pretty close to, be, to, to some physical violence happening amongst our elected representative, representatives, you know, whether it be the Senate or the House, you know, members thereof. You know, I'd be, I'd be looking for that, you know, just kind of watching for that. Because the rhetoric uh, amongst some of those people have been really, really ratcheting up and been pro-violence. The other thing I'd be looking for is something to correlate to what happened uh, called the Bleeding of Kansas. I think that's that's something else that kind of kind of applies in my mind to what's just now started. You know, we had the violence that happened up in Wisconsin, and then you know a few days later out in Portland, and then all of these uh, police shootings and everything going on across the country. You know, it, it just it has that feel to me. And I think it's going to get a lot worse. And then ultimately you'll have some decisive movement where the war will go full on. Instead of being, you know, a low intensity conflict, it'll actually go full on to something like what happened with the Spanish Civil War and or uh, balkanization type event. So that's just kind of my thoughts. I'm not going to ramble on too long today, but, you know, be, be kind of thinking about that. You know, if you're, if you're like me and a member of the, the leave me the F alone crowd, you know, the Patriot movement, whatever you want to talk about, you know, I'm, I'm never going to be one to go into someone else's state. And I mean, I live in a border town, so, you know, me going into the next state over, you know, that, that's not even a 10 minute drive. And so part of that is my community, but for me to travel 
you know, to the state capital of the border state or something like that, you know, I'm not going to do that because that's not my, I mean, that's not my state. I don't live under those laws and it's not my community. I'm not going to go, you know, stand with a rifle and hold the line or anything like that. I mean, I'm, you know, look at me. I'm, I'm a, I'm a camp cook. I'm not a, I'm not a soldier, but, uh, you know, you got to pick your battles, but you know, if you're a member of our community, we're, we're being subject to random attacks more and more often, you know, just for being, you know, a white guy walking down the, the sidewalk or something, you've been seeing this, you know, if, you, if you've got a concealed carry permit, you know, you need to be exercising that thing, you should be carrying, you should know how to use whatever you're carrying. You know, it might it might be worthwhile to take a few, you know, hands-on self-defense classes. You know, kind of learn how to handle yourself. If somebody if somebody takes a swing at you, just out of the blue. You know, you know, ratchet up your amount of preparedness. You know, carry a small first aid kit. You know, at least a tourniquet and a pressure bandage. And uh, you know, you can go more than that. I mean, on the on the regular, I carry carry a full-on eye pack. I mean, I can I can. You know, treat gunshot wounds and a little more just with what I carry on me every day. But it's all about a matter of readiness in the moment. Not just red readiness where you're going to grab your gear and be like a minute man, but just when it happens right then and there, you need to be ready. I think, I think we're there. Where you could be walking down the sidewalk, you know, you and your wife are going out to eat or something, and you just, you're in a confrontation, you're there, I mean, it's, there, there's all different points of history, I mean, you can look at what happened in Ireland with the IRA and all the fighting that happened there, uh, the, the Spanish Civil War, I think, is a big one, you need to really look at what went on with that, um, uh, and then uh, be looking at what happened in the Balkans. In the Balkans, I mean, it's it's a long, longer history than just what happened in the 90s, the early 90s. And so, read into that a little bit because there's some very interesting stuff and it deals with the different cultures, the different religions, because we have all that here in the United States. Now, one of the nice things about it is, is we're not as tightly packed next to each other, so I, I don't necessarily see the the genocides and all that happening like it happened there. But, I mean, you never know the depravity of man. I mean, we can still get there real easy. It don't take much. Anyways, you know, I'm encouraging y'all to, to get your noses in some books, you know, reading on the internet, whatever, just, and then being ready, just a, a basic level of readiness in the moment. You know, be able to, if you need to defend yourself or if you need to give aid, you know, be ready. And then beyond that, you know, start reading your Bibles, guys. If you're not if you're not already there, you need to be. So, so I mean start reading your Bible, start figuring stuff out. But that's it, man. Y'all you know, be good or be good at it. Later.